Hi, my name is Annabella, and today I'll be making some pepperoni pizza waffles. So there are three like parts to making this. The first one's the dough, and then the sauce, and then the waffles. So the first thing I'm going to do is start with the dough. Okay, so the first ingredient is three-fourths cup of wa warm water at 110 degrees. If you have active dry yeast, but I don't, so I don't have to do that today. I have instant yeast. So that'll work. Okay, so the yeast you need one and a half te teaspoons of. So then you need one and third fourth cup of all purpose flour and then extra for kneading. And then you need two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of basil, two teaspoons of garlic powder, one teaspoon of salt, and then one teaspoon of black pepper. So the first step in the instructions, or the second step actually, is in a large bowl, I'm gonna add the one and three fourths cup of flour, and then pour the water and then the yeast in. So I'm gonna do that. I'm grabbing a knife too, which is a good helping thing, which helps Flatten the flour to make sure that you have like it full and the right amount. So now I'm just putting this in the bowl. And then I'm going to take the water. The three-fourths cup of water. And then I'm going to take one and a half teaspoons of the yeast. So now the next step is to use a spatula and mix the water and the flour until everything is wet and mixed together. And I forgot to mention, make sure you wash your hands before this because you're definitely going to have to touch the dough <laughs> because it's dough. So now I'm just mixing it. Okay. So now I'm going to add the olive oil and the, <laughs> and the seasoning to the mixture. Okay, I'm just gonna go wash it. Oh, sorry. Okay, so next you're gonna take two tablespoons of olive oil. And then all the seasonings and then continue to mix it until it's in a ball form. So now I need one tablespoon of basil. So I'm using basil leaves. We'll do a little extra because I love basil. And next I need one Two teaspoons of garlic powder. So you now you want to, I'm just going to take this off because it's easier. Two teaspoons, so here's one, two of garlic powder. And then you want one teaspoon of salt that I have here. I don't really know how much we have of this. We don't use salt like this. We use Hawaiian. Himalayan or something. Himalayan. Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan. So now you need, I don't really know if we have regular pepper. How much cranks do you think is a teaspoon? Okay, we need a little more. 
very um, peppery. You're gonna get a close-up of what it should look like before I mix. So this is what it should look like before you mix. So now I'm going to mix it. And it says it should form a sticky ball. Okay, so now my dough mixture looks like what it should be. Now I'm just gonna to try to get all the stuff off the sides if I can. And then I'll show you what it looks like. To be honest, it looks very good. It looks like a garlic knot. Like just a big giant garlic knot. I'm gonna come show you what it looks like. This is what the dough should look like. Looks like a brain. So now I'm gonna take a cutting board and I'm gonna take a little bit of flour. Because the next step is to turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and knead for a few minutes, adding as little flour as needed. So I'm just gonna do like that much. So now I'm gonna put my dough on here and I'm just gonna knead it. So I'm gonna go in and just like roll it, just so that your dough gets like properly kneaded, I guess. I don't really know what to call it. just so that it's not sticky and not dry and cracking. Okay, so now I'm gonna place my dough into back into this bowl. I'm gonna cover it with a damp cloth and leave it to sit for, to rise for 25 minutes. So now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna wet it. And I'm gonna wring it out to make sure that it's not dripping. Okay, so now I've wrung out the towel pretty good where it's not dripping. That's my wrist dripping, not me. Here. So I'm gonna take it and put it over. So I'm gonna just put it over the bowl. But we're just gonna let that sit for 25 minutes. Let it rise. So I'm gonna set a timer on my microwave, which you can't see right now. Okay. So the next step is to clean up as you go. So I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay. So the next ingredient, or like the next step in the process is the sauce. I already have sauce made, but I'm gonna explain how you do it. So to make the sauce, you want to do it while the dough rises, just to save time. So then you place tomatoes in the seasoning in a food processor and pulse until smooth, then transfer to a bowl and then set aside. And then you want to prep the remaining ingredients for the waffles. So what you need is one can of fire roasted diced tomatoes, one tablespoon of oregano, two teaspoons of salt, and then one teaspoon of black pepper. And since I already have mine made, I'm not going to do that but you wanna just basically take everything and then blend it. So then you have your sauce. So now I'm going to cut this in half and then in half again. And I'm going to create four little balls of each of these. One, four. So now I'm going to cut each in half for later when we're adding all of the rest of the ingredients, such as the sauce and the mozzarella and the pepperoni and the parmesan. But first, I'm going to show you. I'm just going to set these aside. So now you want to take one of these and you want to spread it out so it's about five inches in diameter. Okay, I would say that's about five inches diameter and you want to do that to all of them. So now that you add, now that you have your circles, you're going to take your sauce and it says about 
a couple tablespoons. So I'm just going to do that much. And you want to leave some area on the outside. I'm just going to do a little more. And then you want to add mozzarella cheese. You can either use this or just some fresh mozzarella, but today I'll be using this. So next, I'm just going to take some pepperoni. It says to add six pieces, but I think that's a little much. So I'm just going to add three pieces. So now you're going to take another one and put it over top and then pinch it together like so. Okay, I'm, I'm even going to take a fork. Just go on the outside like this. So again, you want to leave some extra room on the outside to be able to pinch it together like this. So now I'm going to do one without the pepperoni, just for show. It's basically the same exact thing, except without the pepperoni. So now I'm just going to take this, take some sauce, pour it on, around. No pepperoni. So I'm taking a ton of cheese, just slapping it on there. And then adding a top to it this and then pinching it together. Like I did in the last video. Or the last one. And then just Okay, so now you're gonna put them on the waffle iron at high for four minutes, but I'm just gonna spray with some pan first. So that doesn't stick. I do notice these sticks, so you might want to I do notice that these stick, so you want to put it on flour. Okay. So now you want to put that in for four minutes. Okay. It smells good. Alexa. So this Cancel. is what it looks like. It does not look very appealing. It actually does. Looks really appealing. <laughs> So I, I know that it looks really gross, but I figured out that you should roll it. So I just, I found out that it's easier. I found out that it would be easier if you put like the circle down and then put the sauce and then the cheese and then the pepperoni and then the other piece on top so that it wouldn't get all like everywhere basically or like hard to get on. So this is Sophie and she'll be rating my masterpiece. Okay. A little hard on the outside. <laughs> okay, so let's see the inside of this. Inside. Oh. <laughs> the crust is nice. This is very good. I totally recommend recommend this. <laughs> 10 out of 10.